we have the YouTube channel, we've got Instagram, we've got Facebook, and across all those media, there's some questions that we get repeatedly. We wanted to just do a video to answer a lot of the questions that we commonly get. All right, so the number one thing is, what's with the house? Isn't it beautiful, that brick? It's actually the reason why we bought our house. The house that you see in the background is not ours. So we're not trying to be deceiving and act like we're very hoity-toity <laughs> with this huge mansion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, that is not our house. Most of our garden beds actually are on that side, so it's pretty much impossible to film our garden without showing that house. But interestingly, that house is from like 1850. I think it's one of the oldest houses in town. It's three stories. Two years ago, our neighbors who own that house had a fire and since then nobody has been living in that house. So you can kind of see the part you see looks really nice, but uh, the part up top is completely burned down. It kind of looks like a haunted house at night actually. Another question we get actually pretty frequently is what is that noise in the background of your videos? And it is birds. Four budgies. Yes. So these guys right here. We put a towel on but they still like to talk all the time. So that's what they are. <laughs> One of my first woodworking projects was to make a birdhouse for them. Another question that we get frequently is why we're in two different places. And we did do a little video about that called Torn. You can go back and find that. I'll link it up here. Um, but it is not actually hunting land. It is 40 acres of land that we have purchased that we intend to and are in the process of building our future homestead that we're going to live on full time. Why are we not out there? There's probably three main reasons. Number one, the kids, our boy Ozzy, um, there isn't high speed internet up there. <laughs> I went through a lot of moves when I was younger and I just couldn't do that to the kids. I don't think that's right unless they were completely in on it. So that's number one. Number two, we don't want to be poor. <laughs> well, I, I, I'll expand on that. Um, I just finished uh, graduate school. Kevin, before that, went back to school. I would say if you're planning on being self-reliant, maybe don't charge a whole bunch of student loan debt before you try. The, the, the essentials, shelter, you know, a vehicle to get from one side of the land to the other, all of those things that we need to buy is going to delay us getting up there. Got Number it. three, we need to build up the soil. Yeah, and just so that you guys know, it's actually zone three up there, and the last frost date is like toward the end of May, and I wanna have methods down before we get up there and go, oh crap, we can't grow anything. I think people know this, some people definitely know this, but honestly, I would love to live in a hobbit house. <laughs> it could be very energy efficient. Trust me, I can build a spot for t Well, actually, that's a good transition to, to one of the questions that we get. I'll skip down to this one. So a couple times people have asked, who is the nerd? Um, and so there's kind of questions about the level of nerdiness, I guess. That's something that's come up a couple of times, so. What, what classifies a nerd? What, what, I don't understand the question. <sighs> so, okay. Kind of you are like homecoming king guy popularity contest in school. You were though, like you were very, popular when you were a young person it wasn't but it wasn't popular in your classic sense of i was gorgeous when i was younger like and i was vo voted most flirtatious too <laughs> like, like the topic of who is the nerd we both have degrees of nerdiness i would say is that fair to say well again what 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 classifies a nerd i personally am way into some nerdy stuff like star trek and lord of the rings and Stuff like that. Um, and I like it all. I'll watch it all. He'll watch I'm just it. Not, I'm not. I'm not into. It. He's not into it. Like, okay, this is kind of my thing. Like, I think there's different levels of nerdiness. You've got people that are just into like, like maybe you just watch all the Marvel movies or something, and you like them, and you know, you know. Then you got the people who know like the backstories and the planets and this race and their history and stuff like that. The people that are reading Tolkien and then they're like reading like Cimmerillion and all that and they know all the backstories. See, yeah, see. Cimmerillion. <laughs> right. Okay, so that's like the next level of nerdiness is knowing all that. And you know, you've got people that have like toys and collectibles. I think that's kind of on the same level uh, as that. But then you have the people that dress up, doing simulations, stuff like that. That's definitely next level nerd. 
I'm not quite at that level of nerd, although I don't disrespect them. I actually think that's pretty, like, can you say something nerdy is cool? But like, personally, I think the highest level of nerd that there is, is learning a nerd language. Like Elvish or Klingon. There are actually people out there that like, dedicate time in their lives to like, learning to speak Klingon. <laughs> like five is the nerdiest, and like zero is not nerdy. I'm probably like a 2.5. I think when you, try to define nerdiness, it's what you care about at a higher level than what most people would. So you name a football player and I'm like, ah, he went to Alabama, roll tide. Oh, he went to Penn State. So that's one thing that I care about, but then heavy metal music, you know, I, I can usually name all the different members of hair bands, so that's my nerd. You're saying like you can geek out on stuff that's not geeky. It's all a matter of what you're a nerd about. Yeah. You know, I think most people are nerds. Yeah. It follows the bell curve, you know? I'd yeah. actually call you a 3.5. Okay, fine. Okay. I, I'll nerd be that. Love. I'll be that. Love the nerdy girl. Just, just the fact that you like referenced a bell curve kind of makes you more nerdy. And that I'm making a scale of nerdiness makes me more nerdy. <laughs> All right, what um, else? What else? Okay, questions? so another question that we've gotten a couple times is will you do a live stream? Mm -hmm. Say a lot of inappropriate things. I personally edit myself and then Heather edits me on top. <laughs> My life is a constant struggle of holding in what I really want to say. So I think that it could be very dangerous if we do a live stream. Um, you know, I'm open to that at some point in time. Um, I work second shift as a nurse. I work weekends. I, I'm not around for a lot of like premium live streaming time. You know, unless you guys want to watch a live stream at like 10 a.m. <laughs> on a Tuesday. But if you if you are doing a live stream and you see inappropriate comments under bare bottom acres or somebody's teasing you or picking on you it's probably that guy which kind of leads up to our next question actually um, is kevin a jerk yes <laughs> a lot of times people notice that when we comment on things we sign separately like well bare bottom acres but then it'll be like signed heather or signed kevin why do we do that because you don't want people to think that what I write is attributed to you. <laughs> <laughs> Again, opposite to track. But also you don't want people to be like, oh, that's so pretty. Signed Kevin. No, Heather probably said that. Right. So, our our person, we, we definitely do not speak as one. No, going back to like the Venn diagram, we're going to get nerdy again, aren't we? Um, the, but like, just like the place where we intersect the homesteading, the humor, the college football, but then there's these huge arenas outside of that where we're just so completely stinking different. Stinking? Stinking. Stinking different. <laughs> we're stinking different. Oh. oh, we'll do more on how we're different. Yeah. We're just making some mystery right now. <laughs> dun, dun. Um, dovetailing off of that, um, a question that I've gotten uh, actually via direct message a few times is in response to that video we did about how we're different, asking me um, to do a story or to share more about my testimony and basically what that is, is how did you become a Christian because I became one kind of into our marriage. Um, so I will address that. Because I was so bad. <laughs> <She> <laughs> And she had to find God in order to be with me. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I love hearing people's stories about that. I am going to share a story about that in a future video. I don't know exactly when that's going to be. I have to think about it a little bit. Oh, who, who are your favorite YouTubers or who are your favorite homesteaders? I guess I would say that we didn't really get into watching homesteading and gardening on YouTube until recently and I'd say like in the past two years before that I was like more into podcasting you know I listened to a lot of podcasts like Chicken Thistle Farm was a big one um Melissa K Norris I've listened to her Harold. for years oh yeah Harold Thornborough yeah yeah he's, uh, I listen to every single one of them yeah, so he's, sad he's I know I think he's getting back on social media again. Yeah. but then 
As far as YouTubers, it's kind of hard to say because right now I have so many channels that I like to watch. As far as the people that I started watching right away, um, like Roots and Refuge, just when they had a couple thousand, we were watching them. Um, Liz Zorab also, um, just when she was pretty small channel. Um, I like both of those because I'm more gardening. And then Kevin and I both really liked um, Jason at Cog Hill Farm. And now his wife's getting in on it too and she's really cool. Well, I think we started watching YouTube videos together. We had questions and we were searching for answers to questions. Mm -hmm. So then you come across certain personalities. Uh, Heather was instantly do. <laughs> she watched like every single garden tour. And I'm like, okay, We've seen it now three times, <laughs> but it's one week later. <laughs> and, and You don't understand. Yeah, and, and I didn't at first. Gardening. But then, you know, Jess, but there was just something mesmerizing about watching her videos. But yes, Charles, I like Charles Dowdy. I like the English accent, it's just very. But then also I just like his philosophy and he's like, you know, no till. Uh, so incorporate some of that philosophy into what we're doing. I would say I would say 180 degrees. I mean, we when, did start watching them pretty early. Yeah, too, when we? when Ethan and yeah. Sarah are doing a video, they are so sweet. It doesn't matter how long it is. We love we love watching them. Yeah. yeah, and I mean that's just like to the people that we've watched the longest. I could list off, you know, like scroll down the screen. Part of me like doesn't want to list off some of the small channels that we follow because I know that I'll leave some out and then they'll they'll feel they'll feel like we didn't want to list them or something. Maybe I'll just do like a big old list in the description of all the channels that we're subscribed to or something, but there's some really good, really good small channels out there. Like when I was watching like Liz Zorab or some of those channels like Jess early on, I'm like, why is this person not super huge and famous? And then like, hey, like a year later they were. So some people you just can watch and be like, they're gonna be pretty cool. They're cool, but they're gonna get much cooler. There's some that we don't want to ma mention, but if you like to dig a lot, there's a channel that we there's like. There's a channel I totally dig. Yes. And then, you know, there's another channel that we really like the personality of the guy. He's inside of his mini greenhouse a lot. Yeah, he smells like garlic. <laughs> I don't know. Watch. You know, some snarky people who are, they like, they'll, ba they'll make food and do work and just freeload. Yeah. Any other questions that you can think of? Can I buy honey from you? Will you shut up? <laughs> okay. You asked what people ask at work. Will you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> no, people at church and at work have asked me if they can buy honey from us. And I said, no, because we don't have hives. <laughs> we will eventually, but right now we don't. And will you shut up? Do people really, they don't really ask you that. Their body language might say that, but they don't actually say it. So instead of doing live streaming, we will probably do a Q&A type video mm -hmm. on a regular basis or as long as there's uh, good questions. Yeah. So if you have a question that you're interested in asking, please do leave it in the comments. You know, maybe we'll do like a little Instagram or Facebook lives now and then for small little things, but. Kevin's right, we don't want to be banned from the internet right now. Yeah. But there's proof that you'd be like, oh, I'm live. Like, I think the temptation of being live would be like the little voice in your head like, I can say this, I should say it. There's gonna be, like, I wanna shock people. Cause you do, you like shocking people. Yeah, again, I don't like to hurt anybody's feelings, but I do like people, making people uncomfortable. You, you do. I take great joy in it. Yeah. I'm just so the opposite. I'm like always like, how can I make you more comfortable? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, I love to make people feel uncomfortable. You'd be a good comedian then. Just say it all. I'm editing myself. Just say it. <laughs>